This is Cat Grant reporting live for GBS from the Markovian Royal Palace. Meta-human trafficking is an international scourge. Children and teens are being abducted. The way our daughter was. We have confirmation. On multiple worlds, Earth's metahumans are being deployed by the enemy as weapons of mass destruction. Oh, yeah. Intel was on the money, Oracle. It's definitely another metahuman trafficking lab. Then let's shut them down. I fear our operation may have been compromised. Good luck, and welcome to the jungle. Bulletproof. That's annoying. We are on a mission in space. Just like the Justice League. Let's run it again. Uh, Dick, we might want to... Noted. We just want to leave. Your trespass must be punished. Wrong answer. Young Justice Outsiders, premiering January 4th, only on DC Universe. Hey everybody, it's Charlie. We got a whole bunch of new Young Justice Season 3 footage to break down and a reminder about the premiere date. So I'll remind everybody about the schedule at the end of the video. They also dropped a preview of a special new enhanced edition of the original Young Justice episodes with commentary that they're doing and a bunch of extra stuff. So I'll play a clip from that too later in the video. We're doing a giveaway for IMAX gift certificates. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on the video. But you start with footage of them in Markovia. It seems like Terra has been stolen by the light as part of their metahuman trafficking ring. Terra Markov of Teen Titans fame is the Terra from the Judas Contract storyline. So obviously Young Justice is doing something a little bit different with the characters because her brother Geoforce is also in the trailer. But that provides the reason for Nightwing, Artemis, Black Lightning, and Superboy to go to Markovia to rescue these people. And so you get a scene of Cat Grant interviewing everyone, doing the newscast. Then you see Nightwing's team breaking into the area where they're kept rescue them. That probably provides some of the path to Geoforce and the other characters joining their team and helping them take down the metahuman trafficking ring. But the setup that Wonder Woman gives is essentially the light is working with Darkseid to cull Earth's metahumans to help them proliferate maybe with their evil soda or other consumer products to get the metahuman gene to start activating in everyone, then steal them and use them to conquer other worlds in the universe. So that's why Wonder Woman is saying that Earth's metahumans have been detected on other planets because the light and Darkseid are using them in their army to conquer the universe. You get a scene of Katana, Batman, and Metamorpho jumping out of the plane onto an island that looks like the light is operating from. They get attacked by Deathstroke. You get a funny scene with Metamorpho's powers just showing you some of the things that he can do. He can do way more than that. As his name implies, Metamorpho, he can change into a bunch of different types of things. So obviously it's Young Justice, you're going to see a bunch of notable villains showing up on Team Light. Deathstroke and Count Vertigo among them. So that's where you get that Count Vertigo clip, I think our operation has been compromised because it's been dismantled by Nightwing's team. Based on the way they cut the footage, they make it sound like Count Vertigo was behind the kidnapping of Terra. But we don't know if she's going to be getting her powers this season, but you see them talking to her brother, who's Geoforce. Then later in the trailer, you see him look like he's hooking out, like he doesn't know how to control his powers, and he uses his lava-based ability. Superboy and Nightwing freak out. Then they play it for comedy because he doesn't have any of his clothes because he burned them off with his lava powers. So I think that's more the idea that the light is helping activate the metagene in everyone all over the planet and Geoforce just hasn't learned about his powers yet. This is like one of the first times that he's tried to use them. You get a clip of Bart Allen in his new Kid Flash costume with Cassie Sansmark Wonder Girl on a mission to another planet where Forager is from. He's from the New Gods comics. He's the character that looks kind of like the turtle that has the armadillo type powers. Most of the big fights that you see later in the trailer are from that planet. Like they cut back and forth between a couple different battles, but a lot of them take place on whatever world this is where Forager is from. There's a separate scene of Nightwing talking about running some drill again. Maybe he's training a bunch of new metahumans like Geoforce or any of the other people that joined the team during the season. You can't really tell who's standing on the cliff base behind there watching them, but it's probably just a couple of the other members of the team. 
you have that same team of Nightwing, Superboy, Black Lightning, and Artemis trying to plow through one of the new villains, separately another scene of him and one of his other people using their armadillo powers to smash one of the villains as they try to escape that same villain that Nightwing was trying to fight earlier. Separately, you get a shot of Halo using her power. She's one of the new characters. She's from the Outsiders in the comics. Like they're calling season three Young Justice Outsiders because a lot of the new characters are from Batman in the Outsiders comic book, but also because of the way they're operating outside of the law. Halo is one of those new characters. As you can see, she has light-based abilities. The different abilities that she has are denoted by different colors of light. So if she gives off purple light, it's a different power from the yellow light. We get our first shot of Blue Beetle in a long time fighting one of the villains on Forager's world. Tim Drake in his new costume fighting Clayface. Everybody gets a bit of a costume upgrade, mostly because it's cool and because some time has passed and they want to update things. But then you get another new shot of a spaceship that seems like it's helping the Young Justice characters escape that same villain that they were all fighting on Forager's world or wherever this planet is. Then one last shot of Artemis punching the frame right into camera. But just a reminder that all these episodes are dropping Friday, January 4th. The Titans finale is supposed to be Friday, December 21st. So they're just taking the week of Christmas off. Then after New Year's, everything comes back. And this is the schedule. If it looks like Young Justice is only going to be on for a little while, it's only because they're airing the first 13 episodes in three episode blocks once per week. So it's 26 episodes for season three, but they're just breaking it into two halves. The other big thing that they just announced they were doing, they released a preview clip for it that I'll play in a second, was enhanced editions of the original Young Justice episodes. So it involves a bunch of extra commentary with the artists and the people that have worked on the comics. I'll just play a clip from that here. So here we go. Hi, I'm Greg Weissman. Welcome to the first two episodes of Young Justice. Uh, warning up front, we will be spoiling stuff from seasons one and two, but nothing from season three. Phil Barasa, lead character designer for seasons one and two. Uh, hi, I'm Jason Spizak, and I believe I play Kid Flash in these two episodes. I'm Brandon Vietti. I'm one of the other producers on the show. Look, it's Phil Barasa. <laughs> <laughs> Barbecuing. I'm the first one to die in Young Justice. Enjoying family time. There it is. All right. There we go. <laughs> now we've got... Barasa is frozen toast. <laughs> yeah. Now we've gotten that out of the way. And that became a tradition. I think <laughs> Phil became a victim in the first episode of season two as well. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I was... Uh, the Crolatans had me uh, in a, some sort of prison. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Phil is the champagne bottle that we break over the top of every new season, basically. <laughs> it's sort of a, awesome. to echo the suffering the that you have. That's it. And, yeah. and the labor. That's right. In creating this <laughs> lovely thing. What suffering? What? <laughs> so as you can see, it's a little bit like an enhanced version of a commentary track, but I'm assuming they're doing this for some or most of the original season one, season two Young Justice episodes, and then eventually maybe season three. But hopefully if this works out and people like it, they'll do it for some of the other more popular TV shows like Titans or something else. And don't forget that Donna Troy, Wonder Girl, is premiering on Young Justice with this new episode coming on Friday. So I'll do a video for her and all the Wonder Woman stuff that the TV show is doing when that airs. No worries. New Flash episode posting later tonight. Click here for that new Elseworlds trailer video. And click here for my brand new Infinity War Thor Stormbreaker deleted scene video. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.